Hello there. Come here, my little friend. Don't be afraid. And here we are with issue 19. So I tried a little bit, something a little bit different for my intro. We'll see what everybody thinks of it. Um, I'm not saying anything. It's all an audio file from Obi-Wan. So um, I thought about trying to do it myself, um, but we'll let Obi-Wan give it a try, see how everybody likes it. Uh, otherwise, you're going to hear me saying, hello there, and we'll just see how that goes. So here we are. We have the BTLB Y-Wing fighter bomber. So we know that these were in Clone Wars, and um, so they've been around for a little while. And then for those that watched um, Rebels, we know that they go back and um, they find some old ones, and so that's pretty cool. And the old ones look very much like these. So we're going to go over the B-Wings, and that should be interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Geonosis. So Geonosis, uh, we are introduced to that in Attack of the Clones. And then um, we experienced that several times in the Clone Wars show. So that's pretty cool. Might be interesting stuff there. Emergency equipment. So this is part of the Secrets of Space flight. And so, yeah, this issue is already kind of shaping up to be something a bit more interesting than the last issue. So that is good. Okay. So as we mentioned, here are our parts. We get um, the, the insert, insert part. A couple bigger pieces. We get um, one of our favorite... Uh, hoops or whatever you want to call them and then we have some pieces that I'm guessing are going to go inside the insert and then we have some more corridor pieces and I was right the corridor pieces are going to go into towards the uh, the cockpit so let's go ahead and get our pieces out and so I, I like how they do this here so here's our our corridor hoop Here's our little insert, our corridor piece, and this will be kind of interesting because it is going to somehow go like that, I guess. It's going to go like this, and then this will screw to um, this part here. It'll screw onto there, so that's going to go like that. So that should be cool. We'll see if uh, we have any kind of problems with this extra part that I put on. Uh, hopefully not, but we'll have that going for us. So we'll be working on that. And then here's the rest of our pieces. And we have some screws. Always have to have plenty of screws, right? So there are our pieces for issue 19. Now, one of the things I like about this is um, it's telling us all these different pieces and where they're going to go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it points out where they are. One goes here, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, but it doesn't tell us about that piece. So note the circled part is not used in this assembly. It is a planton detail for the hall plating, so keep it safe until it is needed. Well, there you go. I got a little spider running around here. All right. So now the good news is um, I can always look back on here and figure out what pieces need to go where. So um, I can tell what those pieces are. So that means I can get all of these pieces cut out as needed. And I move my trash over here. So. That is pretty cool. So one of the things that's going to have to happen is um, I'm going to have to clean all these parts, but we might as well give it a test fit. So um, just looking at this, we can see that this long piece here does go towards the back there. 
and um, I had it in there just a second ago. There we go. So it goes like that, and then this piece is going to go something like that. All right. Of course, we'll get those glued in. So already shaping up. Let's just see what else we're going to be doing in this issue. So we get it all done. There we go. We put it all together, and then they recommend spraying it kind of a black. Let's see if you can see that there. So talking about down here, this area of the Falcon is very dirty with the grime coated in the deepest areas. Although it is possible to paint the recess with a brush, the best way to achieve the right look is to spray is with spray paint. You will need three colors of matte acrylic. Uh, modeling paint black mid gray and light gray always use spray paint according to the maker's instructions blah 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 blah. okay so first they tell you to uh, start with the matte black shake the can well uh, do not apply paint too thickly 15 to 30 minutes uh, switch to the mid gray spray paint and uh, spray a thin coat lightly across the outer surface at an angle so the paint only reaches high spots, leaving the depths black. And then repeat steps three, switching to the light gray to emphasize the high spots, uh, applying the color very lightly, uh, checking the effect as you go. If you apply too much, you will have to go back to step one. So this would uh, hopefully become easier using the... Um, uh, using... Um, uh, my airbrush so we're going to do one more hoop and then those hoops will go on to here so we'll be painting these parts and uh yeah and then i'm guessing issue 10 we're going to be doing part of this walkway so and some more framework looks like so without any further ado i'm going to cut these out We'll, I'll clean up the pieces, the edges, and then we'll get all of these pieces washed so we can start putting them together. So uh, I will come back after I get all these pieces cut out. Mind you, I'm going to leave this piece in place. This is the one that's circled. We'll leave this piece in place, and then I'll cut out all the rest of these, clean up the edges. There's some uh, extra parts that I need to clean up, and uh, we'll get all those cut out. And we'll be good to go. And then we can start the assembly and then the painting. So let's come back when we have that done. Here we go again. So all these parts are clean. We're going to go ahead and get those attached. And we're going to go move on from there. So... To attach, we're going to need some glue. You guys, I'm sure, know what's coming up next. There we go. There we go. And finally... Here we go. All right. So, I'm going to bring this book in a little bit closer so I can see it. And I'm probably going to switch out my glasses because I know you're surprised. I'm getting older and seeing is believing. All right. So, let's get this orientated properly. So the first thing we got to do is put this one in. That should be simple enough. So I got two choices. I can either put the glue in these slots or I can put them on here. I'm just going to go ahead and put them on here. So I don't have to slather the glue on because any glue I put on this end piece here, as it gets pushed in, it's going to smear all the way down. So uh, oops, wrong one. That's a problem. I guess I'll put this one in. 
Hopefully, I don't have too much problem putting the next one in. See, ladies and gentlemen, you got to pay attention to what the hell you're doing. What do I get for doing this later at night? You know these things go in there pretty tight because when you push them down, they almost kind of click. So there we go. There's that one. That's in place. It's interesting they're not parallel. And it has nothing to do with me not putting them in right. That's just the way they are. Oh, you can see it in the picture. <laughs> you can see here in the picture they're not they're not parallel. So interesting. Okay. So there's those. Now we're going to put this one in. And where does this one? Okay, this one is going to go here. Like this. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that in there with that piece in place. Oh, I was supposed to put that piece in much later. Well, that's that was stupid of me. Uh, okay, it's going to go in like this. All right. Yeah? No. No, it goes like this. Because this part here has to face out that way. Well, crap. Is it too late to pull this out? Hmm. Not good. Well, there's my first major screw up. Okay. So I'm gonna have to force this in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna see what we can do. Hopefully we don't cause any major damage. I don't need that much glue. I'm going to put a little bit inside these holes. <clears throat> All right. This is going to get forced in place. Ah, whew. That was close. All right, got that. This one's going to be fairly straightforward. It's just going to go uh, like this. It's always a good idea to dry fit stuff. I'm going to hold this over. wedge something in here. Need it held over <clears throat> while it dries. Okay. Come on. Come on. It's not supposed to be that difficult. There we go. Alright, so that's in there. It's in place. Alright. There we go. Um, now we're looking at number three, which is this piece here. And this piece is going to go, it's got a single nipple, 
just a single nipple and it's just going to go right here and then the end goes in that little spot there you should be able to see it it's a uh, yeah it's a little slider in there so go awesome I like how this is shaping up number four which is this one here and this one goes right here right into there uh, I believe it goes this way yeah, it goes like that. Get it orientated properly, fit her into place, secure it for a moment or three. All right, now we got this big pipe here, and uh, goes this way. So I think it goes into there, and then into this spot there. Yeah, like that. Oh, and then there's a spot back here. So there's three holes here. Uh, there we go. So this one here, that one there, and then there's one back here. Okay. There we go. There we go, that's in there. Let's, as Bob Seeger would say, turn the page. Get that page turned. Oh, now we put this piece in. Let's pretend I just put that piece in. Okay. Now we have number six, which I think is this one. And it is going to go in here. But I'm not... Let's go this way because this one fits into there and this will fit, I believe, you can see that little slot there, I think it's going to fit into there. So that means that goes on that way. <clears throat> And they recommend using some sort of tweezers, and I can understand why. All right, before that sets up too much, let's go ahead and get this other one in. There we go. Wow. That changed the whole look of that. That adds a lot of detail to it. What do you guys think? I mean, it's going to be even better once it's painted. So, I think I mentioned this 
earlier in the video, uh, they recommend going with black, medium gray, and then light gray to, you know, just bring out the highlights. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the whole thing black first, and then I'm probably going to come in. I have some rust paint that I, I purchased. So I've got some rust paint and, uh, I don't know if I got it out here or not. What's this one? Yeah. So here's the rust and I've got some, I bought some copper. So I might do some rust and some copper and some silver some grays and stuff like that and I'm just gonna touch up a lot of this I might do try to do uh, a light dusting of gray but I don't know um, I think that uh, that might be a bit more than what I can I am capable of so uh, I'm not that good at controlling the airbrush at the moment so um, but that's all in there. I like it. Very sturdy. Very cool. I am a fan. Very cool. So yeah, I will get this painted up. I'm going to prime it first, obviously, since we're airbrushing it. So I'll, I'll prime it, get it painted up. I'll probably mask the screw holes just to help, you know, so... I don't want like too much build up or anything like that to cause any problems with the screws going in. So I'll just put a little piece of the masking tape over the top of these so that the these parts stay clean. I mean, it's going to be screwed in place, so you're never going to see these anyway. So that's not going to matter. But I do want to make it so I don't have to fight with the screws, any kind of paint build up or anything like that. So I will get that done, and then um, maybe I'll come back and you guys can see me touch this up. So. We'll see you in a little bit. I had not intended in creating two videos for this, but uh, I wanted to show the entire assembly of this insert. And once I started painting the insert, I wanted to show that entire aspect as well. So without making an hour long video, I decided to split it into two 30, 25 to 30 minute videos. I felt like that would be a lot better off. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully you will join the next one too. See you then.